Welcome to Unfiltered Pixel Pro Audio's weekly show. Today we have sound samples and first impressions of the Lewitt LCT-040 Match. Hey guys, welcome back around the drum. I'm Tay, this is David, and that is Jay. Today we have sound samples of the Lewitt LCT-040 Match, and a little later we're going to... Uh, give our overview and opinions on that microphone. But uh, before we get into the sound samples, uh, David, uh, tell us a little bit more about what we have set up here for the for this uh, session. Yeah, so we've got um, two different samples. We've got drum overheads and acoustic guitar. And we wanted to compare it to a mic we, we knew in the same price range-ish. So we, uh, we set up the Lewitt mics and an MXL 990 pair, or 991 pair. Mm -hmm. And um, we... Got them as close as we possibly could to the same position, captured the same performance on both acoustic guitar and uh, drum overheads, and uh, yeah, let's hear it. Okay, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of a, a raw, and then a, then them in a mix, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of back and forth. So uh, check these out, guys. All right, guys, let's talk about these LCT-040 matches. Uh, Jay, what was your like first impression, initial reaction? Uh, my first impression was I was surprised how different they sounded from the 991s. I was kind of expecting them to be a little bit more similar, but I'd say, um, obviously, I thought the, the matches were brighter microphones, and I think that they captured the overall kit a little bit better. The toms and everything I thought were more present. So, like, if... Uh, you know, I picture these as kind of like microphones for the entry level person who is getting their first set of overheads. And uh, so from that perspective, I feel like that's kind of a good thing because mm -hmm. you're going to get a, a, a more balanced drum kit image um, right off the bat. Whereas with the 991s, I definitely felt like I would have wanted close up Tom mics. Yeah. Um, and I probably would have too with the with the matches, but I feel like you could get away with a little bit more there. Yeah. Um, and I, and I feel like they were more in your in your face, a little bit uh, raunchier sounding, which could be cool in in rock and all kinds of different musics like that. But mm -hmm. um, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with with them. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with that. <clears throat> I mean, like you said, they were brighter mics. They can really cut through a, a dense mix, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you want for cymbal mics. Well. For what I do, that's what I want. I, I do a lot of rock and metal, and um, yeah. In my notes, I had these would be great for metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean that's exactly what you want to hear out of uh, cymbals in, in a metal mix is just something that cuts through like a thick wall of guitars and tons of vocal layers. So, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you guys too. I thought there was a lot of clarity, at, you know, in the high end and, uh, it sounded really natural and, and, uh, like crisp almost. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really um, good word for that. And yeah. I think, uh, you know, nine ninety ones have their place and they're great, but these, um, I don't know. I guess I, I was impressed with them initially. I was like, okay, that's more <clears throat> clear, I guess, and more bright. Um, and I, I, I liked them a lot. Okay. So yeah, I, I would totally I, if you know when I get my drum mics, I would totally probably tr start out with these, like you said, Jay. Mm -hmm. And they're so tiny too. Like they are. Look at it, it; it's smaller than my hand. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was expecting a lot less, to be honest. But and they're Lewitt, super light. Yeah, but Lewitt is just they're really good at making good condenser mics, and yes. I I will always have faith in them. Okay, and so, so the first thing I did with these when we got them in is I took this and of course and just started talking into it and you know into a mixer, uh -huh. <laughs> and and I was pretty blown away with that too. Just yeah, how like how how nice it sounded just talking into it like this. They, yeah. These this would be a great like uh, um, microphone for talkback. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, I didn't nice even think about that. Too, you could fit it. Oh just yeah, about anywhere. So. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So we, we put them on acoustic guitars and then drums for the samples, but you can do a lot more with them like you just suggested. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're quite versatile, and, uh, you know, they're, the price point is is unmatched. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, bringing out the dead, do dead they, jokes as usual. <laughs> they, it's uh, 99 for one and then 189 I believe, for a matched pair. And if you order from yes. Pixel Pro Audio... We throw in two free twenty foot cape. Excuse me, sorry. Two free twenty foot cables. Yes. yes. So if you go to our website, we have a bundle option there for uh, the match pair and yeah, two mic cables. Yeah, we'll put the link in the description below mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so they they come matched. <clears throat> They're named match, but is that why? They're as We're big as a match. Sure. They're as big as a match. Yeah, it's like a little match stick. <laughs> you guys can draw your own conclusions of why they named it that way, um, but I think everything. Is, is correct. So <laughs> you're not going to be wrong. As always, everything is correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Whatever you think is right. <laughs> do, do you guys have any more to, to comment on uh, on these, on no, the match? I, I think they did a great job. Yeah, for, it's solid for a pair of microphones. Yeah, so. yeah, I agree. So good job, Lewitt. Um, you've made a nice uh, small condenser microphone, uh, perfect for overheads and acoustic guitar and whatever else you can think of. Sure, a choir would be good at those too. Yeah. All right, guys, yeah, go to our website. You can pick them up there with a bundle option of two free cables. Uh, you can also sign up for our newsletter, pixelperaudio.com slash all access to get signed up uh, for free giveaways. Um, and uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the drum next time. Hey, guys, don't go away. There's more. We have extended takes of the LCT-040 match in the mix. So go check it out right now. Hey, what, what's what's going on? David, what are you doing here? I just wanted to tell you guys about the uh, D'Angelico guitar I played for this take. You can find it in the link below. Oh, okay, cool.
Can we rewind the tape? Oh, I, I didn't notice it when we, di- when we when we did it, so you'll feed off of him. Meaner, meaner <laughs> match. It's Michael Scott. In the flesh. Oh boy, the expert <laughs> beekeeper is back. I was going to say something that I didn't say, and I'm glad I didn't say it. Yeah, where's your cheat sheet? And whatever comes out of your mouth. <laughs> it's no bueno. I think that makes sense. That's awesome. <laughs> Classic. Match. Like. Match. <laughs> Match. It's too late. It's already on tape. <laughs> Let's right. do this episode. <laughs>